Keith, yeah. I want to ask you, you know, obviously there was the school shooting in Maryland this week, and that was appears to have been a, a personal thing between uh, this, this, this boy and this girl. Uh, 16-year-old Jalen uh, Wiley was taken off life support. She died. Uh, she was killed. Now, this was a, a gun. Um, it was not an AR-15 style weapon. It was a gun. But within a minute of this starting, uh, the school resource officer, Blaine Gaskell, confronted the gunman and shot him somehow. Well, we don't know how he was killed, whether he shot himself or, but in that confrontation, he was killed. That could have prevented more deaths. And that's what some people are saying is the argument for more security, more arming in schools. Do you buy it at all? Remember, there was a school resource officer in Parkland, Florida, too. And that school resource officer either didn't do his job or failed to stop the gunmen uh, at, at Marjorie Stone and Douglas High School. Uh, <clears throat> we've seen many incidents in the past where there have been armed people who have not been able to stop uh, gunmen. And we've seen instances where there couldn't possibly be an, uh, uh, an armed person who could stop someone. Take, for example, Las Vegas. What was somebody going to do in Las Vegas to stop someone who's shooting from them from hundreds of feet above the ground? No, that would be all about allowing that kind of weapon to be there to begin with. Or, or the, the bump Pulse stock nightclub. There, there, there was a, a Pulse nightclub shooting where they had an, an armed security guard who, who engaged the gunman and still failed to stop him. The idea that if, the only thing we need to stop a, a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun is a nice talking point for the NRA. But it's not true. It's part of this fantasy that John Wayne mythology that, that Donald Trump believes in. That's not the reality of the way America works. And you have a lot of people walking around with guns. I know Scott said earlier in the green room that he owns an AR. I don't know if I was supposed to say that he owns a weapon or something like that. But, but the reality is we, we are leading ourselves, deluding ourselves into how safe we are by having these weapons because most often those weapons okay. end up being used against us. So, Scott? Uh, 